In this giant box is a bag that I have been curious about for a while, but I've had a few reservations about it. I've seen no videos on it, and it recently went on sale for 30% off, so I thought, why not give it a try? If nothing else, at least it will provide an opportunity for you guys to get more information on this bag if it's something that you've also been thinking about, but weren't sure about, so stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. So this bag is from the Dooney & Burke website, but it's not a Dooney & Burke bag. Let me go ahead and cut into it. It's from another brand. Dooney and Burke feature a few other brands on their website that they don't make. Although this particular brand was created by Peter Dooney, who is one of the founders of Dooney and Burke. You may have seen some other videos I've done on this brand. I absolutely love them. So you may have guessed that the brand is Henry's. So the Henry's bags typically come in one of these little foam bags. They do have a dust bag inside, and then there's a sticker on the front. It gives you some information about the bag, just like which bag it is and the color and that kind of thing. And then when you open this up, I'm gonna pull it out, not by the straps, but by something else. It is this. This is the Tulip Tote. Of course, I'll show you all about it. Oh my gosh, that leather is so nice. I bought this, like I said, I had reservations. I'll tell you more about that. And the reservations I've had based on the photographs that I've seen on their website have probably just all gone away as soon as I saw this bag because I was thinking I'm probably gonna end up returning it. No, the second I saw it, I'm like, no, she's staying. I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer and I'm gonna get the strap on so you can see what that looks like. And I'll pull out another Henry's bag because this has some differences between this particular style bag and most of the other Henry bags. So I'll show you that as well. And of course we'll do mod shots. That's one of my hesitations about this bag. Let's see all the details first. So again, this is the Tulip Tote from the Henry's Leather Company, which is sold at dooneyandburke.com. As far as I know, that's the only place you can get these bags. They do go on sale 30% off several times during the year. The next time we'll see that will probably be around Black Friday, but who knows, they may do it again before then. Their leather is exquisite. I will link some other Henry's videos below so you can learn more about that because I've talked about it before and I don't want to repeat myself too much. The color of this bag is taupe. Most, if not all, of the Henry's bags have this little leather flap that goes over to this connection here. So the way this works is you pull it down to get it over that little tongue, and then you pull it out to the side. You have that metal piece on the front. The strap is just sewn onto the back, and it flops over, and that's the only opening or closure. I mean, whoops. Oh, oh, I just saw something. The strap that I did not know it came with. That's a game changer. Here is the dust bag. They have really nice like muslin. I don't know if it's actually muslin or something else. Dust bag with an actual leather patch on it here that says Henry's. Inside the bag is this card. This says all Henry's bags are crafted from the highest quality French calf leathers and superior Italian hardware. This bag was made in Italy, made in Italy by Lorenzo and has undergone thorough inspection and approval by, I can't read her writing, but they fill in that information by hand, which is a really nice little touch. The back of the bag has this sizable pocket and it's stamped on the bottom, Henry's made in Italy. The interior of that pocket is leather. It's kind of an ochre color, like a yellow ochre. The interior is that same kind of ochre leather. You have one big slip pocket on the back and you also have a big slip pocket on the front. Now this metal plate above that pocket, which says Henry's made in Italy and it has the patent number. There's also a piece of protective plastic over it. That is the back of this plate where you attach that strap. So let me tell you about my two biggest hesitations with this bag when I was just looking at the photographs online. One is the strap. It's kind of short and I'll show you another bag in a minute that it reminds me of and that bag has a short strap like this that always slips off my shoulder. So I thought, well, that's probably gonna slip off my shoulder too. 
but on this bag it does have clips where that strap is removable so you could take that off my other hesitation is that this bag online looks like a north south tote instead of an east west i'm more of an east west girl i tend not to use north south totes but in those photos it has the bag stuffed in a way where it looks more like this it looks taller and in person when you have the strap on it it looks wider so it looks a little bit more like a giant bucket bag kind of than it does a north south tote if that makes sense maybe that's a subjective thing but that was an issue for me or a concern for me another concern number three which i forgot about until just now is that it's a pretty wide bag let me measure it as shoulder bags go it just seems like it might have been a little too deep six and a half inches deep since i'm doing this i might as well give you the other measurements it's nine inches across the bottom and 11 inches tall now what i did not know and which addresses one of my concerns i don't remember seeing this on the website is that in addition to this short strap which by the way is leather it's the same leather as the bag it comes with a long strap which is the webbing strap. So I'm gonna take the leather one off. Actually, no, let me do mod shots with the leather and then we'll put the longer webbing strap on. And I think that I'm gonna like that one a lot better, particularly if it fits crossbody. Also forgot to show you, it has this little metal hang tag that says Henry's. It's got plastic wrap on it right now. That's removable if you don't want it there. All right, this is what this bag looks like on the shoulder. That feels so comfortable. It's just the right length to be able to hold it there. And it looks like that. That's great. That's really comfortable. And the way that it's hitting me, where the base is hitting me, doesn't feel like it sticks out too far. Some bags will hit you more up at the elbow and then it feels like your arm is way out. This one hits down at my wrist. Now, of course, I don't have anything in it right now. So it depends on how bulky you make the rest of the bag to how far your arm might stick out. Let's try the other strap. All right, I've got the longer strap on. Now on the shortest, well not the shortest, but on the length that it came pre-programmed with, that's what I was gonna say, but that's not right. On the length that it came with, it goes down here, so it's longer. I can still, my fingers can get to the bottom of the bag. I'm gonna make it longer though and see if we can go crossbody. Actually, I'll just try it at this length. So yeah, that's good. I just need to make it a little bit longer and then it'll work better for me. All right, I adjusted it by about six inches and now it's hitting more where I would like it to hit, and I love that. That's that's how I would wear this bag for sure. Let me show you the bag that I think is really similar to it. And that's this, the Louis Vuitton Delightful. This is the original model and the PM size, and those are about the same size there. And they both have shorter straps. Now the one on the Delightful is even slightly shorter than the Henry's one, but see this is the one that I wear and it falls off my shoulder like immediately the Henry's one actually felt like it would stay on better but what I do with the delightful is I get a third-party Vachetta strap from dress up your purse I'll have them linked below with my discount code and I just clip that to these rings I tuck the shorter strap in the back because it's not removable and then I wear it crossbody just like the Henry's bag. And now let me show you a couple of things that are different about this bag compared to the other Henry's bag. I just pulled this other taupe bag from Henry's. This is the foldover bag, which is also a crossbody. First thing to note is the color of the taupe is a little bit different on these two bags. They're both called taupe on the website. The texture is also different though. This is a, well, this particular one's a smaller grain and this one is the bigger grain, the tulip. But this one feels a little different too. It feels a little more stiff. It feels a little more like it has a coating on it. Whereas the leather on the tulip bag feels a little softer and more supple. Now it's not a squishy leather. It does have some structure to it. That part of that has to do with that leather lining. Notice they both have those same closures, but notice the interior colors are different. A lot of the Henry's bags you get are gonna have this light yellow leather lining. So it's new to me, I haven't seen another one or maybe I've seen one other one that had this more yellow ochre. One of the things about the Henry's bag is you never quite know what interior you're gonna get. It seems like they've done a few different iterations of bags, trying different things for various reasons. Generally on the website, the photos are going to show just the raw leather on the interior. I wish that's what they did. 
I think maybe they added the leather interiors to give it more structure, but I don't know. No one's told me. Personally, I really prefer this color over that lighter yellow. Another thing to note is that most Henry's bags do not have removable straps. They're gonna have the leather piece that attaches to the bag, and most of them have these canvas straps. The tulip may be the first one I've seen that has the leather, but then it also has that webbing strap. So it's super nice to have those options. So this is the tulip tote from Henry's. I hope this was helpful for you if you're thinking about this bag or even if you haven't fantastic bag and these bags are priced so well they remind me and other people a lot of Hermes in the attention to detail and some of the quality and some of the design but the prices are so much lower and then especially if you can get some during any of the 30% off sales that Dooney does site-wide. And if you want to make sure that you know about those, I always know about them. So what I do is when I hear about one, I put it in a community post on my channel and those will pop up on your YouTube homepage if you're subscribed. So please make sure you do that so you don't miss out on 30% off, which is significant for these beautiful bags. And these are limited quantity to the Henry's bags. The popular pieces and colors tend to sell out pretty quickly. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.